All right, so now heading back up to the, the level that we were at, right, we're looking at the whole floor plan, right, the default floor plan. I just want you guys to create basically a box that is um, using a generic wall. Okay, so when you go up to the wall, I want you to first click on the arrow down, and you'll see that it has a couple of different um, options there. There's wall architectural, if you can read that, wall structural, and wall by face. Um, generally, the top item is going to be your default, so we're going to do um, wall architectural. So click on that, and when you pull this pull-down menu, um, you should, I think you default on generic 8 or generic 6 or something like that. It doesn't matter really. But, um, so let's talk real quick about like what happens in an office, right? So there's, there's a whole environment of Revit that um, helps you with schematic design. It's like the massing environment. You can create boxes and stuff and sort of pull these control points. Um, similar to Grasshopper, I guess, like you can just kind of pull a control point and it just kind of morphs the geometry. Um, but, but here, like once, what, what we're gonna kind of skip over is that phase because it's pretty complex and I want you to just get how to model geometry in Revit first. Okay, so then once you understand how to model geometry, I'm going to teach you a little bit about the massing environment and how to transition that into real geometry. But for now, what we're going to do is model with basic um, generic walls, and I'm going to teach you like from, from that stage, this information doesn't, like the information in the wall, it's totally blank. So real quick, if I draw a wall down here, um, you click once and you just type in like 25 feet and then hit enter, right? Um, it's going to keep that string going, right? And I can just type in other values. So I can do 50 feet and then I can do 25 feet. And notice how I didn't even type anything, but it locks to that. One thing that Revit does really, really well um, is helps you with your alignments, okay? Um, yeah, anyway, well, let me just click that and finish that off. We'll go here. Um, you just click the aligned line and then you just click into your baseline and that goes back there, okay? so. Um, what is different about this wall and the wall that I modeled in the last video? If I zoom in, right, my view settings are still the same. It's quarter inch scale, it's set to fine, and there are no layers in this wall. Okay, so quite literally, this is the entire wall assembly. It's just, you know, these two faces of volumes. So um, what I'm going to do here is just pull out the 3D view, and that's what you've made. Oh yeah, sorry. Um, if you go to the top there, um, it's that little button in the top corner, little top menu panel thing. That's a technical term, top menu panel thing. All right, any questions about that? Just putting in some generic walls? Okay, I'm, I'll uh, answer some questions and stuff offline here. I'm gonna stop the video and then we'll move on.